You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up to bet. Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in the It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Focus on you in 2022 focus on you in 2022 man but we back with another reaction man we got nukes top five ghost video so scary you'll weep now if you with me i need you to draw with you in the chat man in the comment section let me know that you with me but we back with another one i know it's been a while it's always been a while in between because i don't <laughs> but anyway let's go ahead and get it fire squad what's popping let's get it Five ghosts caught on camera. The Atami Clinic. Korean paranormal enthusiast Paku and DJ from the YouTube channel Boro Boro live in Japan and are big fans of Japanese urban legends and ghost stories. For okay. one of their videos, the duo sets out to investigate a known paranormal hotspot in Atami City, Shizuoka Prefecture, Japan. It's the abandoned old silver villa Atami Clinic. The hospital opened its doors in the mid-1980s and served as a long-term care facility for the elderly and terminally ill. Mm. The clinic closed in 2009 and has been left empty and abandoned ever since. During its operation, many patients passed away inside these walls, Jeez. and some of their lost spirits are still said to roam the hallways at night. Friends Paku and DJ record as they head inside the old clinic to explore. Almost immediately, things start to get weird. There's a mysterious sound. That's what it was called, so no matter what happens, we're going to make it run for it. He's just for real, though. Paku and DJ hear a strange sound coming from somewhere nearby. They're still near the exit, so they're not particularly alarmed just yet. They head even further inside, but then things take a chilling turn. What? Paku freaks out as later he explains that he felt something touch the side of his ear. Then what? they both hear a loud thud and make a run for it. Eventually, they calm down and head back inside to continue exploring. That's when Paku spots something downright terrifying. <laughs> Frozen. He frozen. What? What happened? Paku first freezes up, then he takes a Polaroid photo, and then just makes a run for it. Back in the car, he shows his friend what he saw and captured on camera. Did you see it? Nah. A small dark figure can be seen at the edge of one of the hospital beds. Within only a split second, the dark figure just disappears. Paku takes a Polaroid photo, but nothing can be seen in the picture. So, did the friends capture the spirit of a patient who passed away inside the Atami clinic years ago? 
let me know what you think. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Boro Boro. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Meanwhile, on TikTok. More than 150 years old, the Anson Call House is known for its ghost stories. A family that lived here for close to 20 years says there's no question this place was haunted. On Halloween night, Paranormal Investigation Team Paranosis hosts a live event on their TikTok page as they investigate the allegedly haunted Anson Call House in Bountiful, Utah. The historic home was built in 1859 and was the home of Mormon pioneer Anson Call and his five wives. Wow. It is said that Anson was a cruel man and would lock his wives in the basement if they did not obey him. What? He eventually passed away inside the home. 84 years later, it is said that Ted Bundy kidnapped and held a woman in the Anson Call home before taking her life. Lead investigator Bennett Rain and her team are broadcasting live outside the house when suddenly they all see something absolutely terrifying. What? There's like a knock on the sound of like that. Knock on a window or something. I'm done. I can't. Trying to dress. Freaking, that's where it was trying oh, to dress. What? Look at it. Look at it. Oh, it is the freaking ceiling. Heard someone talking. There's some girls out in the front. Okay, that's the freaking ceiling. Freaking. I don't, I don't know. Oh, what? There was, what? There was a thing like smashing up against the glass. Oh my God. Put the camera up there. Uh, was that in the front? Was that the front of the freaking house? What a light it. What was that? The window. It's coming from inside. It hit the Oh my God. Put the light on the house, bro. That's been happening the whole time? Yeah. Somebody's been banging on the window and the door. We got it on video, too. Okay. I think I'm done. I need to get... What the, what the hell? Is that gonna break the? Are they gonna show where it's coming from, or? I don't know. Is that coming from upstairs or downstairs? What the hell? Okay, I think. Okay, that's the freaking. I'm done. Okay. We gotta go in. They're gonna go in? You're gonna go in? Yeah, let's go in. Why said, did yeah, you let's go, go in? The, freaking house is falling apart. the remains of a bed frame fly up towards the ceiling. The shocked investigators quickly head inside to investigate. They crazy. They crazy. This is I think this is where the banging was coming from. This is for sure where look. Look at that. That's what I saw flying around. I saw that in the window. Now this terrifying event was all captured live and fans of the Paranosis team shared their recordings of the investigation on TikTok. What makes the footage even more compelling is that paranormal fan Ashley came along on the investigation and she too captured chilling footage of the Anson Call home. Wow. Oh my gosh. No. Oh my gosh. There's the neighbor. There's the neighbor. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you guys see stuff a lot? Like Not really. Me? I just hear things mm. in my bedroom. Oh, that's crazy. Night. Nah, no, nah, 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 yeah. nah. <laughs> I live, like, my bedroom's, like, right on this side, on this side right here. Yeah. Oh! Mm. Here's the glass. Oh! <gasps> Somebody could just oh, be in there, though. Yeah, we're... Yeah, the neighbor came over and was like, I know. are there people in there? 
they're like, someone's knocking on our, and I was like, no, like, I think it might be the vibration from this. The kid that came up to us, he lives next door, and he was saying that, um, he never sees anything, but he hears stuff all the time, and his window to his bedroom was right next to the house, and he said he hears stuff all the time, that's why he came out running. But they did say the neighbors on the right hand side, like the opposite side of him, they always see women walking around upstairs where a lot of that banging was happening. So, no thanks. Now with so many witnesses to these paranormal events, it makes you wonder whether the Anton Call home might be truly haunted. And someone or something from the other side was banging on the doors and windows right. in an attempt to get out. But as always, I leave that to you to decide. Casey Dostert's TikTok page is completely devoted to sharing videos of his fishing and hunting trips in the Michigan outdoors, which makes this next singular spooky video on his TikTok even more bizarre. Casey explains that he saw an abandoned house in the woods a few times as a child, but he had never been able to find his way back there again later in life. That is, until recently. It's already dark when Casey and his friend Ashton drive up to take a look at the house. It did not go well. So, what the uh, fuck? I want to take everybody back here. I place I knew about when I was a kid. Haven't been able to find it since. So let me tell nah. you. Hell nah. It's an eerie place. I got to show everybody this. Now that I found it again, brought my buddy Ashton with me. Thank you for that. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> but, uh, moon. I get a bad feeling every time I come in here. Why'd you have to come here on a full moon night? I don't right. know. Goodness. <laughs> so we should be coming up on it here pretty quickly. Oh yeah, there, there it is. is. Look at that. I'm telling you, some bad stuff happened back here. I gotta take Casey. you and show you this place. Casey. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Why is the tire swing moving in this tree? What? Hi, Casey. <laughs> Probably the wind. You just drive by it. Lock them really doors. Wanna... Dude, this is this is a eerie place, man. There's some bad stuff happened back here in the seventies. Some bad juju here. Uh, yeah, hold on. Casey, go back. Go back. Huh? There was somebody standing in that window. Shut up. I seen something in the window, Casey. Really? There was something in the window. Give me that light. Alright. Hey, over here, Ashton on the side. They're getting out. They're getting out. There should be a. Casey, I seen something. These motherfuckers getting out? No, not. Go clear? He tripping. Dude, you think a bloody mattress in here? <laughs> Dude, there was somebody standing right here, or a shadow or something standing Dude, here. is that blood on that mattress? Alright, come on. Oh, wanna check it out? Hell no! Go ahead Hell and get the first, no. bro. <laughs> <laughs> dude, go, 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 get out of here. Hurry up, dude. What the f go? Someone can be seen standing in the window of the creepy old house. When they approach the building, a door slams shut and the friends just get out of there. Casey explains that some, quote, bad stuff happened in the house in the 1970s, but he doesn't elaborate on the story. So just what did the guys catch on camera? That looks is it real? Keto. Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The Lost Children. Paranormal investigators Kevin and Fabio from the YouTube channel Archivo Extinto are back on another exploration at an allegedly haunted location in Mexico. This time they find themselves at an abandoned orphanage with a very dark and tragic past. 
Long ago, the priest and founder of the orphanage was accused of horribly abusing the children in his care. The priest was forced to leave and was never seen again. No one knows exactly what happened to the children. The large decaying structure is now the home of a family of friendly stray dogs. Mm. Before they begin their investigation, Kevin and Fabio give food and water to the cute pups, and then the dogs seem to follow them around as they explore. As the guys look through the rooms on the ground floor, Kevin and Fabio hear something unnerving. The two investigators are shook as they hear an unexpected childlike voice call out from somewhere in the darkness. Kevin and Fabio have no idea where the sound could have come from and their anxiety begins to grow. Hell no. As they continue searching through the creepy dark orphanage, they find a room on the second floor that immediately spikes their EMF meter. A walkie-talkie that Kevin has brought along suddenly picks up a bizarre, distorted signal. Oh man, that's good. No mames. You're talking about chills? Que pedo? Que pedo? Hell nah, bro. Without warning, Fabio suddenly hears a breath coming from right behind him. No mames. No mames. Que pedo? We're going to leave the night vision camera here. After the incredibly disturbing sounds, the two investigators decide to leave a static camera behind as they continue to explore the building. A little Ooh. while later, the camera records something chilling. Strange sounds. What the fuck, bruh? Creepy childlike breathing can be heard very close to the static camera on the second floor. That's when Kevin and Fabio's radio begins to act up once again and they hear a loud, audible groan. But that's not all that they captured that night. Because, did you see it? No. A small shadow-like figure of a child can be seen standing on the ground floor, Hell seeming nah. to watch them from the shadows. The two investigators have no idea that they're being watched, but start to get creeped out enough that they decide to leave. They grab their equipment and get out of there. 
So could it be that Kevin and Fabio captured the sad trap souls of the children of the orphanage? Or could this be something else? Something dark and sinister? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire two-part investigation with English Ooh. subtitles over on the YouTube channel, Archivo Extinto. Ooh. Viewer videos. Ooh. This next video was sent in by Danish Nukes Top 5 viewer Daniel Hertz. In the video, his father Henrik explains how 40 years ago, his own father was recording a video on 8mm film during a fun family outing after they hiked into a deserted area deep in the woods of Denmark. The clip from a film Later, when the family watches their 8mm home movie back, they spot something that they simply can't explain. Something downright creepy. A strange woman can be seen standing in the distance, simply watching the family as they walk through the woods. Henrik Hertz says that this woman was not there at the time of the recording. We are sitting here and watching the video and noticing a lady standing in the woods. And the lady was not there that day. So the question is, is it a ghost? So just who or what is this? Let me know what you think. This next video was sent in to me by Nukes Top 5 viewer Alexia. In her email, she says that early one morning, she and her husband were away at work and no one else was home. But their CCTV camera captured something very strange happening to their cat, Kyo. Oh, shit. Now, first off, let me make it clear that little Kyo was fine and not hurt but it almost looks as if something we can't see throws poor Kyo into Dang. the air and he falls against the kitchen chair. When slowed down, it becomes clear that there's no way that the cat could have managed to leap into the air like this, belly up and back feet first. Dang. So could it be that something paranormal attacked poor Kyo? Let me know what you think about this creepy footage down in the comments. Mr. Spouter. Four years ago, a YouTube user calling himself Mr. Spouter posted two very strange videos to his YouTube channel before simply disappearing from YouTube. Mr. Spouter claimed that years ago some sort of paranormal presence had attached itself to him and would follow him as he moved from home to home. Hell no. In the following footage, Mr. Spouter says that he was finally able to capture the activity on camera. Right, banging again. Like something on the stairs. You can't hear it though. I can. Yeah. It's weird. It's not next door. It's like why well, the door ain't all the way closed? The f Bro, you gotta close that shit. What the. Might be pipes in forward. Bro, you gotta close the door, don't open that shit. Don't go somewhere every time there was nothing there like that. Ah, don't do it, big. On the stairs, quick, 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 quick. Nothing there. What is he doing? I don't even wanna look. Oh shit! Can you see? Uh, freaking myself out. There's something banging then. Something went banging. I'm talking to myself. <coughs> something was banging. Right. On my stairs. Dusty as f. I'm being a f. Nip 
不到。You see it? In the room right next to right, the staircase, a small dark figure can be seen just standing there. But YouTube user Mr. Spouter doesn't even seem to notice. When he films the staircase again later, the unexplained apparition seems to have disappeared. Already freaked out, Mr. Spouter hears a strange sound coming from his wardrobe closet. When he turns his camera to film, he is shocked when a plastic bag on top of the wardrobe suddenly moves on its own. Now, there is no way to know what happens next. Mr. Spouter announced that he had moved out of the house, but he has never returned to his YouTube channel to give any further updates. For now, the creepy footage remains a mystery. Thanks so much for watching. All right, that was top five ghost video. So scary, you're weak. Now, I ain't weak, but this was... How many top five, how many videos was in this video? It was like 10 videos. False advertisement. I'm expecting five videos and get 15? But nah, that was creepy. It was a couple of them in it that was super creepy, especially the one, you know what I'm saying? The last one was creepy for sure. And the one when walking through the woods and, and or the house and then the blood on the... If you made it to the end, I need you to draw a real one. You already know what it is, man. Self-love and positivity, Fire Squad. I got you when you know it. Hey.